Hello and welcome to the back of the taxi that is taking us. Is that fair to call it a taxi? It's just not, it feels a bit cheap. Really? Chauf 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 vehicle? Chauffeur vehicle? Chauffeur vehicle, sorry. Welcome to the back of the chauffeur vehicle that is currently heading towards the O2 because today I am going to be hosting the red carpet for ITV and ITVX at the Brit Awards. It is probably fair to say that this is one of my biggest dreams come true. It's going to be one of the biggest days of my career and I really, really wanted to bring you with me. We're going to be interviewing some of the biggest musicians, some of the biggest celebrities on the planet. They're all going to be there and you're going to be along for the ride. So let's get there. Let's get into it. Hi, morning after Jack here. Uh, I'm going to dip home for some voiceover across this. Uh, so I did some interview revision in the car and then something happened that has never happened before i don't think i've ever had the pleasure of being reversed into a venue before so <laughs> this well, is a first for me it's actually a first for me to reverse oh brilliant it. yeah well i'm so glad we could do it together oh okay we have arrived backstage at the brit awards that's exciting very own dressing room let's go and see if yink is in You excited? Hey! Hey! <laughs> you ready? Let's go. Let's go. I'm not ready. All good? Yeah. Hi. Hi. I'm sticking my eyelashes on. Oh, exactly. sorry. I, I won't disturb anymore. I just wanted to come and say hi. Okay, here I got a shout out, Glass Weird John Charlie. <laughs> He was getting my face ready for the night uh, and did an amazing job, by the way. So thank you so much for that, Charlie. I don't actually really take that much. A few eye masks just to get the redness out of my face. A bit of powder, blemish touch-ups, hair product, that kind of thing. And then honestly, we're pretty much good to go. First look at the main arena. Wow. I have no idea if you can hear me or not, but being on the floor of the O2 is a mad experience. I feel like a rock star tonight. It's the Holy Grail! <laughs> the Brit's microphone! Okay, so we're like up on stage at the Brit Awards right now. Is it confusing? Fun. Apparently. Uh, we're rehearsing for the live links for tonight up on the stage. Kind of kind of crazy because I didn't think we'd like actually be allowed al yeah allowed anywhere near the not, stage not only, tonight not only allowed but like escorted on I know literally they're, they're giving us the run of the mill out here which is really exciting so we're rehearsing for tonight we're gonna go and grab some lunch afterwards and then more rehearsals and then like begin it all kicks off yeah okay perfect I'm glad like that I've done one link already or, like practice links because I feel you just got to do like a couple to get it out the system and you feel way better when you step out there live tonight because you know what to expect like even silly things like stepping on a stage like this yes. and knowing what it feels like underneath your feet or knowing the atmosphere of a room it's really really important okay so here's the next part of the plan we've just had some lunch we're now heading over to the car and we're gonna go and head to the red carpet a few rehearsals that kind of thing to do and then the show begins. How are you doing? Hello, Hello mate. Oh, great to see Everything you. Right? Yeah, really, really good. Have a good one, yeah? Yeah, cool, man. See you in a bit. Right. right. We're headed into red carpet, doing our thing. Time to get some rehearsals down. Time to nail some interviews. If he's going in, this is where we get locked in. Serious game face on. It feels pretty calm at the moment, but the reality of the situation is it's going to be absolute chaos in probably about 30 minutes. Thank you. It's that first rehearsal feeling where you feel like you got the zoomies. I get nervous before this bit. This bit's a scary bit. Look at Yinka, she's such a pro. She's just like making it look so easy. What's, any top tips for the carpet? What should I do? Just smile. Just smile? Smile and wave. Boy. Smile and wave, smile boys. And wave. Smile and wave. Okay, okay, okay. Fine, I can do that. Don't mess with me. If your name's not on the list, you ain't coming in. Okay, so from here on out, it's basically like celebrity Yo Sushi, just a conveyor belt of them passing through the show. Uh, we started off the last dinner party. We had Chasing Status, Jungle. C Mac comes on, like, oh my God, my dress. I'm like, oh, what's wrong? What's wrong? Turns around, she's got her crack fully out on the red carpet. Amazing, classic team, Matt. Uh, we have Becky Hill on the show, and then Joe Keery. Mate, this is this is a long overdue catch up right here. I had him on the show, my radio show over at Radio One, on and off talking about his music for the last couple of years. Just felt like two brothers that hadn't seen each other in ages. So that was really nice. Charlie XCX, Tate McRae, and then check this out. One of the biggest moments of the night. I'm interviewing Kylie. My dad's gonna be dead jealous. Yes, come in. Lovely to meet you, Jack. How are you? 
All right, here we go, making our way to the main arena where me and Yinka are about to do a live link on ITV2 to set the show in motion. All the dancers getting ready for the first performance. Yinka, how are you feeling? Snazzy! She's feeling snazzy, everybody! This feeling right here was impossible to describe. Live debut on ITV2, walking through the whole music industry, final touch-ups happening. Uh, this bit here was quite funny, Dua Lipa's dancers getting airlifted into the rafters whilst we we're trying to focus up for the show. It was just complete and utter tunnel vision. I didn't have any awareness of anything else going on around me apart from sending it down that camera to ITV for the main show. We did it! So we just sent everyone to ITV1 to watch the Brit Awards. How do you feel? Ah! Now do us on! We're going to the end of the thrust. It's interview Danny and Tom from McFly. Be ready. There could be scandal on the horizon. Let's do this. So here, we're basically roaming the O2, trying to grab as many celebrities as possible to interview for the other show on ITVX that happens after the Brit Awards, basically like the after party on ITV. So yeah, we did Danny and Tom from McFly, Joel Domit, Rob Beckett, Becky Hill. Before beginning the ITVX show live as Kylie's confetti is falling from the rafters after the main show finishes. Just, it was just perfect, honestly. I feel really, really lucky to have been able to have done tonight and also to get to like speak to all the artists and all the celebrities here in the moment of it all, like literally pulling them as they come off stage, like we did with Becky Hill, she just came off, grabbing Ray off, she just won album of the year, capturing those like really raw, exclusive moments. That's really why I do the job and what I love most about it, bringing those stories to life. It's been really sick. And I reckon I've probably got to go to an after party to celebrate as well, even though I feel like crawling into my bed would be the best option right now. I've got to at least go and have one drink. 